we know that faith isn't always easy. So let's keep running together. Hi, I'm Nate Curtis, the Executive Director of Communications and Broadcast. Thanks for tuning in to today's devotional. We're halfway through this series, but we still have some work to do, which is why I want to challenge you to work diligently. Whether you work at a church, a corporation, or at home, God has given each of us gifts and talents to use for His glory. Just look at Colossians 3:23 through 24, which says, Whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve. Well, one of the greatest joys of my life has been serving here at First Baptist Dallas. It always stuns me when I look at the team's project load and the amount of output they deliver. Tens of thousands of print, digital, and video projects are produced every year from a lean team of hardworking associates. We have a saying in our department, our faith is our fuel. In other words, we remind ourselves often that our motivation isn't necessarily fueled by our paychecks, to knock another task off the list, or to make our bosses happy. Our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and our commitment to the Great Commission has to be our driving force, our fuel for working diligently. In our daily lives, we are often driven by the desire for recognition, success, and approval from others. We put in long hours at work, invest our energy into personal pursuits, and strive for the admiration of our peers. While it's natural to seek validation and rewards for our efforts, the Apostle Paul reminds us in Colossians 3.23 that there is a higher purpose to our work and endeavors. The passage begins with a powerful statement, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. This verse challenges us to approach every task, big or small, with wholehearted dedication. Whether we're washing dishes, completing a work project, caring for our families, or volunteering in our communities, we are called to give it our very best. Our attitude and effort should reflect our commitment to excellence. The key shift in perspective comes in the next phrase, as for the Lord rather than for men. When we work, we must remember that our ultimate boss is not our earthly supervisor or manager. It is the Lord himself. This perspective change can transform our work from a mundane obligation into an act of worship. Our motivation shifts from seeking the approval of men to seeking the approval of God. Recognizing that we work for the Lord brings a sense of purpose and integrity to our daily task. It challenges us to maintain honesty, diligence, and a spirit of service, not because someone is watching, but because our Heavenly Father sees all. Our work becomes a form of ministry, a way to serve God and bless others through our efforts. Paul goes on to assure us that our faithful labor does not go unnoticed or unrewarded, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. God promises to reward our dedication and service in ways that transcend earthly compensation. While we may receive recognition and compensation from our human employers, the true reward lies in our heavenly inheritance. Our inheritance from the Lord is not limited to material blessings, but it includes the joy of His presence, eternal life, and a place in His kingdom. When we work for God, our hearts are filled with peace and contentment, knowing that we are storing up treasures in heaven where moth and rust cannot destroy. So in conclusion, Colossians 3, 23 through 24 invites us to shift our perspective on work and daily tasks. When we work as unto the Lord, our motivation changes, our efforts become acts of worship, and we find purpose and fulfillment in our labor. God promises to reward our faithful service with an eternal inheritance. So let us remember each day as an opportunity to work for the Lord, knowing that in His eyes, our labor is not in vain. Let your faith be your fuel and commit your work unto the Lord. Today, I want to challenge you to be honest with yourself What fuels you to work diligently? Does your faith fuel you? Remember in your daily responsibilities and role, work for the Lord and not for man. Mm